I quit my job at the concrete plant. My work just kept getting harder and harder. I get it. Welcome to the Huggy Wuggy Movie. Today you'll find out everything you need to know about this fella and all his friends. So if you enjoy videos like this one, smack that like button and subscribe if you're new. It's free and I'm yellow. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, he's gonna squeeze you until you pop. Also, he's drooling at the sight of me. He must never have eaten a banana. Look at the fur on him. He has 40,000 health and what? He's got fangs at the back of his throat. Let's see how much damage reduction he's got. Oh my, is this MLG? <laughs> What's happening? So you can hit him for about 200 a time. It's not bad, but he is regenning his health very slowly. Should we turn him on? Uh -huh. Oh, here he comes. Okay, all right. He's trying to hug me with his face. Did you hear that? I think that was the sound of my bones. He squeezed the actual life out of me. Uh, is there any escaping this fella? Can you dodge the hugs? Not a sentence I, I thought I would say. No, you can't. Huggy? No. Oh, oh my God. Yo, do you know what? It, it feels kind of worse when he just slaps you. It's, it's like he doesn't want to hug you to death. What else have you got for me, lad? Look how he runs. How? How? He bit me, Charlie. What are the moves you got? <laughs> Some more of that. Oh my, what the? <sighs> I actually just nearly fell out of my chair. Huggy, what the dickens was that? It, I've got a gun. Stand back. Okay, Um. he's kind of quick. He's kind of quick. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Just keep bouncing. Keep bouncing. He's, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> Dodged him. Uh, can he come down? Seems like I've figured him out, lads. But it's not really fair, and I'm an honorable b b banana, so I I'm coming back up to fight him like a man. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> you win. You've had it now, lad. Here. Huh? How did he just kill Saitama? What the... Did I have a parachute? Hey, this is sick. What the? Okay, forgot I installed that. Anyway, uh, let's punch him before he grabs me. Got him. Again for science. Left hand. Whoa. So it seems like he gained a little bit of health when he hugged me. Yep, he gains <laughs> just two health. I guess that's so you can know how many he's killed. It's kind of useful. Parachute. But fortunately for me, if I time it just right, I can kill him. <sighs> And it seems like the only way he can kill me is if he executes me with the hug, like that. But he can't just sort of punch me to death, Huggy. Do the punch. There it is. Again. Not the hug, Huggy. Oh, there we go. You see, he bit me and it did nothing. But if he hugs me, I did. Now, there's a fella Huggy Wuggy really reminds me of, and it's Costume Man. Do you see what I mean? They look like they could be related. Except Costume Man kind of chunky. Anyway, should we let him fight and see who wins? Costume Man only has 3,500 health, but he hits pretty hard. But does he like being hugged? Whoa, no. He's dead. You're so OP. This time for sure, you've got this. Oh, he bit him to death. How much damage does that bite do? We need something with more health. Gerald! Jerry, you okay? That seemed a, a, a bit more of an extreme bite than the last one. Oh, Jerry tanked it. Oh my god, Jerry. Oh, sorry, that bad. Oh, that might be one of Jerry's most brutal deaths. Jerry, are you okay? I think he's fine. Right, that's it. You're getting this. You deserve this. 50 Jerry's. Oh, he's just, he's smacking and hugging. He's eating some of them. Imagine being hugged to death though. That is really terrifying. And the Jerry's win. Oh, they almost got him. They got him. This one managed to escape his clutches. You could say it was clutch. Right, Jerry. So if you ever find yourself in the situation where you want to possess this fella and terrorize your friends, here's how you do it. Remember, go around the back, click on the butt, and you're in. So let's test out some of his damage. And we're going to give Jerry the day off. Uh, we'll use Berry, who also only has 5,000 health. And if you left click, but I think it's random, and that big old bite is one of the attacks. Let's just check. One more. Oh, that's a cat. Wait, how much damage did I do to the cat? 5,000. Okay, the bite does 5,000. What kind of animal is Huggy Wuggy? Comment below, what do you think? Kind of looks like a cat or a squirrel with rabies. And so also at random, you've got the other sort of uh, uh, melee attacks, the smackums. But also, if you just want to skip that and hug someone, right click and you just, oh, there it is. <laughs> he, he did. I wonder how 
big the creature can be that you can hug. Uh, Mr. Mr. Are you inside me? Can you hang on? I'm just doing my squats for the day. I promise I'm not teabagging the cat. Or am I? Right, bird watcher. Come here, you. I'm gonna hug you. Hug me, brother. Can I hug? He's too big to hug. What if I make him weaker? Am I winning? I biting? Seems like behemoths maybe are just too big for hugging. I guess it makes sense. Huggy sad. I wonder if I can hug a horse from behind. I can. Is it safe to hug milk? Let's find out. Hug me. You're too big. Oh, this is a scam. What if I smack you? More smacking? Oh, I just... <laughs> Sorry, I think I popped you. Can you hug a siren head? He's also too big. Huggy has his limits. But you can eat things. I don't know if you can eat the siren. Maybe if you weaken him, bit him on the groin. How am I? I'm dying. Can I eat you now? Delicious. I think I'm about to die. I died. How? <laughs> Simon won and he's turned off. Simon, you're so OP. It's fine. I didn't I didn't even want to eat him. I'm going to eat Jerry instead. Oh, it's gross. Look at my health. I gained 250 health. What happens if I eat the cat? Oh, even more health. Does he fancy eating sweet? Swedish meatballs? Let's find out. It's too big. It's too big. We'll just smack the ball. Got him. So while the cat begs for mercy, let's find out if Huggy Wuggy can break into your house. Let's hope that's a no. Seeing as every monster I tend to spawn in usually ruins my house, we're on a bit of a budget now. And uh, uh, this is it. This is all we've got. Uh, how do we <laughs> move door? Come on. That's it. Swing open. All right. It might not be uh, the perfect house, but what else do you need? I'm going to break this. I'm going to stand directly in the toilet. I may be destroying the integrity of this place, but that's okay. All right. Now maybe the door can close. I'm giving up. I'm just going to use it like a coffin. It's going to be a coffin anyway. Might as well go a step ahead. All right. It's going to be a bathtub, lads. It's killed me. These things happen. This is the reality of Hollywood. Hollywood. Oh, hang on. Perfect. All right, let's get in. <gasps> We're in, lads. Oh, this is the most in we've been. Look at me. Let's turn him on and see how we go. <laughs> okay, maybe I, I need to take a loan from the bank and get a bigger house. Why am I red? So it turns out the bank said no, and I hadn't paid back my last loan, so uh, I'm now in jail. But on the bright side, it looks pretty secure. On the red side, they sprayed me with that stuff so they can find you after. I'm red now. But surely Huggy Wuggy can't get me when I'm in here. Only one way to find out. No, stay away from the walls. At least I'm free now, but I'm still red. And... Um, I don't know why. Send help. Now is my favorite part of every new video. Let's break his bones and see how ugly we can make him. Wait, this one doesn't have those back things. Oh, no, he does. There they are. They're in the roof. Huggy, we're going to transform you into the ultimate toy. Perfect. I think we nailed it first time. But maybe we should try some more just in case. Oh, I like this one. He's still drooling. Oh, God. Where's his eyes gone? They're in his mouth. His eyes are in his mouth. <laughs> I don't know if it's more terrifying or less terrifying. Look at this. He's a duck. I really could just do this all day. <laughs> what the? I think we've done it, lads. This is it. It's perfect. He's chewing his eyes. And he's doing the pon pon. Hit it, Huggy. Oh, no, no. It's still terrifying. It's still, oh, it's still gross. So I was wondering, can you put Huggy Wuggy and Costume Man together? Can you merge them? What? 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 <laughs> And what if we do it in reverse? Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Come get me, lads. Uh-oh. Oh, save me. Save me from... Oh, oh no. Now they both have kids. Now I'm alone. I can't believe I've only just thought of this, but the hugger is here. Who's going to hug the hardest? It's a hug off. Place your bets in the comments. Hugger. Huggy. And one smack. One hug. And he's he's won. He's a huggy one. He it didn't take any damage. Why are you back? He just hugged... Uh, okay, round two. He's back. I don't know why he's and he's always oh, getting him. He's doing. He's not doing a lot of damage. Uh, you're gonna want to hope that he never turns. Don't jump in front of him, you fool. He's going for it. It kind of looks like they're trying to kiss each other. Maybe Huggy's finally found the one, and he'll stop murdering. And so today, these two will be taking on the lucky blocks. All of these that you see here. And if they manage to defeat the creature within, for example, this SpongeBob creature, which is a Robo Plankton, they get a point. If they lose, they don't get a point. And whoever has the most is the winner. You guys ready? Oh, I think they're ready. Look at them. Team up. Oh, hi guys. Oh. So at first is Huggy Wuggy, and his first lucky block is a random battle cat. Uh, it seems like a big one. We'll have to turn him on to see who it is, and it's, oh, it's Valkyrie. <laughs> oh my god. He squeezed the soul out of her. And he gained 14 health. Well done, Huggy. One point. And his next foe is a dinosaur. Will he get a point for this round? Oh, it's just a tiny little raptor. He's seen him. He's coming. Is he going to squeeze him? 
Oh, he chewed him instead. Fair enough. What does he taste like? Chicken, I bet. Oh, he's trying to scratch me. Up next, we've got Madness Combat. Let's hope Hank will come out. Oh, it's a, it's a, what? <laughs> what the laggy death just happened? Uh, he did manage to hit him a couple of times. That eating was brutal. That's three points for Huggy. He's doing well. But next, he has to fight the Mimic, who uh, you don't need to open it. What the dickens? What just happened? Thor? Is he, don't tell me he's outside the map. That did 10,000 damage. The Mimic, he's bobbing and weaving. He's coming. Huggy stood there regenning slowly. And oh, oh he's just smacking it. But he just... Huggy Wuggy. Your execute is slightly OP, but he's, he's he's weakened. But he's still got four points. And of course, to make it fair, we have to reset the health every time. So he's back to 40,000. And his next foe is a random Minecraft creature. Who will it be? It's a... Oh, it's a baby spider. Isn't it always the baby spider? Oh, my God. God. The scream, the blood. Five points. But things are starting to get a little tougher now. We have an SCP creature. Who is it? Oh, it's B. So, uh, I turn around so he gets a chance to... Huggy, did you squeeze him? Huggy, I don't think he's actually doing anything, even if I face the other way. He's just getting smacked about. And oh, a little hug. Just softening him up. But the hugs, he's got 90,000 health, so the hugs aren't quite executing him. That one did, though. And that's another point for Huggy. He gained 7,000 health? That. Six points. But like I said, things are getting tougher and SpongeBob is up next. Hopefully we see someone like Plankton like we did earlier. Oh, it's Mr. Krabs and he's got a sword. It's made of, of fish bones, which is a little sus. Mr. Krabs. Uh, oh, is he winning? He's very elegant. Oh, no. He's uh, he's sushi now. Seven points. Huggy Wuggy, you are OP. But surely there's no chance against a banana, right? Uh, well, we'll see. Oh, how much else has he got? 850,000. He's got... What's happening? He's picking me up. I'm floating. Uh, what? Guys? Guys, what's happening? Um, <laughs> just look at him. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> you spin me right round. Is he doing any damage? I'm confused. How does he have 70,000 health? I think we may need to separate these two. That's enough. Stop it. Chop him. <laughs> really? Okay. Well, we'll do it again. Stop it. Stop going in each other's orbits. You're not planets. Only NASA can plan it. Oh, hang on. The squeeze, the slash, and the dead? He lost to the barbed. Barbarian. Or the Rome? I don't know. What is this? Is this a banana? But it means Huggy Wuggy's only on seven points, sorry. And things are only going to get trickier because next we have a Trevor Henderson lucky block. And who's inside, please, a behemoth? Oh, it's uh, it's Funny Fear. He's getting a nice old squeeze in. What the devil just had stop walking towards me? What just happened? It all went white and then he's dead. Okay, eight points. Huggy. Which leaves only the trolls. If he manages to kill this troll, he'll have nine points. And Kissy will have to defeat him by killing every everything. But can he kill this troll? Oh, it's the bowels of death. Is his weakness his bowels? It's certainly mine. He's just chewing him. He's smacking him. Um, bowels is not doing anything. Hello? Um, why? Why are you just letting him chew on you? <laughs> Look at the state of this. And he's done it. He chewed a hole in his face. He didn't gain any health. He didn't take any damage. Anyway, uh, that's nine points. Not bad. But can Kissy beat him? And there's only one way to find out. Here she is. Look at this pink fluff. Let me know in the comments, who do you prefer? Kissy or Huggy? Which one would you like to squeeze you to death? Anywho, let's start with a battle cat. Round one. I wonder if we'll get a cat this time. Oh, no. I, I'm very wrong. It's a hippo -y. He did. Uh, that's one point. Kissy. Well done. Dinosaur. We saw a little raptor earlier. This time we got a monolo. What? Didn't even get to read his name. Was that dinosaur wearing a helmet? Can we run that back? I swear that dinosaur had a helmet on. That's two points, Kissy. All right, now it's time for some madness combat. Come on, Hank. We haven't seen you for ages. Oh, it's just a zombie. Really? But it could be the weakness. The we <laughs> Can we have that in slow motion? Very dramatic. That's three points. Now it's time for the Mimic. All right, the Mimic did... Well, it's done the same thing it did last time. Absolutely yeeted it. And it's going. It's it's taking its time. I'm going to help it. I'm going to fly and drag it over there. It's regening its health. And it did take a big smack. And Kissy is... Oh, she's coming back. She wants revenge. Will she get it? Why do you two run so weird? Oh, she's picked it up and eaten it. Four points. Did someone say Minecraft? Because it's Minecraft's time. Is it friendly? Oh, no. No, 
You get, I get it? Because it says, oh, no. I don't know what's happening, guys. Uh, I'm going to take this sheep over here. Excuse me, you want this? That's for you. You guess what's happening. Hello? What's wrong with this sheep? Has the sheep brought about peace to the world? She's drooling, which makes me think she likes lamb. But then she just stares at the sheep and then the sheep goes in her mouth and she doesn't even want to eat it. Well, the sheep's disqualified. There's only one way to sort this out. Get down. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. You saw nothing. Fresh Minecraft. Are you serious? But this is just an actual sheep. Is she broken? She hasn't moved for a while. Are you going to do anything? Oh, no, she's alive again. All right, I think that sheep might have shocked her. Really? You saw nothing. It's Minecraft's turn again. And this time, it's a skeletal horse. All right, fair enough. It's dead. Five points. So things are starting to get tougher, and it's SCP's turn this time. So let's find out who's inside. What is this? SCP-610? That's gross. Is it winning? Uh, she's just gained 8,000 health and a, and a bit more. She's at 70,000. I think she's winning. It does seem to be stabbing back, though. But she gains so much health from the squeezes. Look at it. Why do they fight so weird? So every time this thing stabs it, she, she pulls it out of the ground, sucks some of the life out of it, and regens it all back up. It's like the Kraken on a budget. It, di it's di it has 901,000 health, so this is going to take a while, but it's... It's dying, and she's at 232,000. So it's, it's really just making her stronger. And now it's running away. I don't blame it. And so I think we're going to call this one a W for Kissy. Uh, because she's at nearly half a million health. Ah, this is taking forever. She's at six points. And of course, we had to reset her back to 40,000 health, because it's only fair. And next, she has to fight a SpongeBob creature. Who is it? It's Patrick! Oh, yes, Patrick. Oh. <gasps> Patrick. I've always thought Patrick was a snack, but that's going too far. Seven points. But now one of the tougher challenges. Banana in a box. Will she get as unlucky as Huggy Wuggy? Well, uh, 840,000 health. Uh, I'm keeping her at bay. Oh my. Ah, the fart cloud of destiny. I didn't take any damage. <laughs> Little sus, but definitely OP. Look at these. What are those? So she needs to defeat the next two lucky blocks to tie with Huggy Wuggy. And they're difficult ones, because first we've got a Trevor Henderson, and it's... Oh my god. Ah, it's the watchtower. She's being raced. Is she winning? Are you winning? What? Are these two? Oh, he stomped on it. It's gone. They, hang on. Are you two related? Why am I dying? Uh, you guys are supposed to be switched off. You'd think they'd be pals. I mean, they're both the only creatures with pink fluff. But no, she lost. <laughs> Again. Round number one. Ding, ding. Our first Trevor Henderson creature is... Holy moly. It's the tree head. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger. But let's just turn him on and see how they fare. Huggy seems to be... He's smacking. Look at him. He's going... Is there some leaves coming off of him? He's dead. All right. It's one nil for the Trevors. Round number two. Our next Trevor is... It's the... Oh, it's a female cartoon cat. Um, I need to turn them off so they stop. Oh, she's gone. And now she fights Huggy Wuggy. And the battle has commenced. He's smacking her. She She's, uh, head's coming off. She uh, she hits really fast. Uh, she only has 18,000 health. So Huggy should win this. I think he is winning. Uh, he's just got to grab her. Give her a nice squeeze, Huggy. Do your thing. What is this? A fight for ants? Get back here. That's it, you two. Oh, there's the squeeze. And it's done. Easy peasy. A point for Huggy. One, one. Round three. Who is our Trevor? It's, huh? it's the highway worm. 7,000 health. Kind of strong, though. But you never know. He's not seen Huggy yet. Huggy's going to approach him from behind smack him on the booty. He still doesn't know. He's now taking a bite out of him, and he bounced off his head, and he's squeezed to death. Alrighty. Uh, two, two, one. Round number four. Open sesame. Oh, it's the lion. It's the cartoon lion. I reckon the, the lion's probably gonna... <laughs> what do you mean, Huggy? Um, okay. Three, one. I really thought the lion would win that one. Swiftly on to round number five. Who have we got? It's... Oh, it's the cat. It's the male one, but he's, he's, he's enraged. You can tell by his slack jaw. And he must fight the hugger, who has just... Gone and eaten him in one go. The cat didn't even turn around. Oh, dear. 4-1. Huggy OP. But I do have a feeling the Trevors will make a comeback. And, oh, here we go. This is surely Dark Siren Head. You've got this. You guys kind of look related in a way. Uh, would you... He just bit him to death with two bites. That's 5-1. Uh, make sure you smack that like button if you want to see more Huggy Wuggy videos. I've got lots of ideas, so let me know if you're enjoying these. Back to the mayhem. Round number seven. Will it be lucky for the Trevors? It's the Bridge Worm, who is a DPS machine but doesn't have much health, so I'm a bit scared for him. Let's spawn a cheeky Huggy Wuggy right in front of him. The worm is... <laughs> The worm is calamari. Get it under the bridge. 6-1. Round number eight. 
Be someone big, someone strong, not Ribbit. He's about to hop his way straight into Huggy's belly. And here we go. Oh, <laughs> It's, Huggy has no chill. Can we play that back? <laughs> you're a savage, sir. Let me bring this frog back up for you. Stop clinging to the walls. I know you're a frog, but that's it. Get him. Sick. Oh, and there he goes. What does he taste like? Chicken, apparently. 7-1. Start sending out the behemoths, would you? Oh, there we go. Just as I requested the giant with red dots. All right, let's put him nicely on the ground and give ourselves a cheeky little Huggy Wuggy who has been seen. He's... Ah, oh, the dots, the, the children, the lines, the Huggy's confused. Um, I think he's gonna die. What the... And the babies. Get him, kids. Oh, squeezing the kids. That seems wrong. And he's dead. Excellent. Only uh, uh, 15,000 damage was taken. It's quite a lot, actually. But it's, it's now 7-2. Would you stop smoking? That stinks. And we're already on round number 10. Who's inside? Someone big. It's uh, The lamb is kind of strong, actually. Do not be deceived. But is it Huggy Wuggy strong? Spawn him in. Hu what the? Huggy, I thought you were coming. Oh, he's just eating a whole lamb. That seems wrong. Wait, there's still a child down here. Where did you two come from? And that means Huggy is now uh, eight to two. Round number 11, my lucky number. Who is it? Oh, yes, a day 18. Who is sometimes a pacifist, but you never know. Maybe he has a thing for stomping on toys. We'll find out. Huggy seen him. Huggy don't help. Huggy wants to fight everyone. <laughs> he don't care. Uh, where is he going? Look how he runs. It takes him a while to get there. Day 18 is not interested. I don't think he's even seen him. Can he see anything? He has no eyes. Huggy's going for it. He's doing a lot of damage. Day 18. If you're going to do anything, do it now. You've got this. You've got this in the bag. Day 18. I believe in you. Why are you such a pacifist? It's the elephant in him. Oh, I thought he was going to stomp on him for a second, but no. Just he's taking his beating like a champ and he's dead. He's eaten. He ate, he ate that whole thing. Nine to two. Round number 12. And we've got a crunch, a, a crunchy road creaker. He's long. He's gangly. He could also be related to Huggy Wuggy. They do kind of look similar. Oh, he's been smacked on the booty again. And, and he's dead. Uh, 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 he took 40 damage. But that was it. And that's 10 too. Round number 13. Surely this will be unlucky for Huggy. Oh, it's Gerald. So, uh, no, this is going to be fine. Huggy's going to win this. Uh, I'm calling it now. Uh, Huggy, there we go. Get him. Sick him, boy. Oh. Oh, Jerry, that was... Of all the performances today, Jerry, that was the most disappointing. I'm gonna be honest. Look at you. Are you chewing on your arm? Have some shame, Gerald. 11-2. Round number 14. Here we go. Oh, it's the the, 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 the blade sister. The sister of the ever sharpening blade. Uh, she is actually really strong. Don't be deceived. And yes, that is a knife. I think she's gonna win this. Oh, hang on. He's trying to squeeze her, but look, she's going immune. She's having none of it. She's pulled out a spear. The hugs. Ha -ha. She's the only one who's been... Oh, she's dead. Oh, well. She was doing really well. She has that immunity thing, and it almost worked perfectly, but then he ate her. And so it's 12 too. Come on, Trevors. I know there's stronger ones in there. Oh, sorry. It's Hush. I asked for a strong one. They gave me this Egypt. Huggy's gonna... Huggy's gonna sort him out. All right, now we can talk loud again. Thank you, Huggy. 13 to 2. Round number 16. Come on, someone, someone strong. The bell ringer. Really? All right. Huggy, squeeze this bell. Oh, just chew on his face. That's fine. He's still ringing. 14-2. Trevor's why? Oh, hang on. Milk. Milk's kind of strong. Milk, where you going? Milk, stop strutting your stuff. Come back. Milk also looks a bit like Huggy Wuggy. A little bit taller. Oh, look at him go. He's actually going to town. He's dead. The? So you dropped your milk. That's 15 to 2. Round 18. Here we go. Oh, it's Gerald's brother, Beryl. And um, will he be able to withstand at least one punch? Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, he's running. He's fleeing. Don't blame him. Oh, like brother, like brother, I suppose. That's uh, 16 to 19. Someone bigger. The wooden siren head. Haven't seen you for a while. You ready for uh, probably death? Strap in, lad. Here he comes. With all his fluff. Ah, can anyone withstand the strength of the hug? Uh, no, he didn't even hug him. He just beat his knees to death. 17 2. Round number 20. We're already here. And oh, God, no. Jerry wants a round two. Do you know what? We'll make it fair. Six Jerry's. I know I'm kind of cheating, but I still have a little faith in them. Get them, boys. That's it. Surround them. Okay, he squeezed one. He's, he's chewed on two. He's, he's eaten another one, and they and they did no damage. For science, just for science, 50 Jerry's. Can, uh, oh, no. He's going to kill them all, isn't he? Oh, hang on. Uh, he's taking his time to squeeze them individually, which is foolish because look at that damage. Oh, he started smacking. 
Oh, and he's chomping. Lad, you've got this. Lads, I believe. Oh, no. They got so close. Look at his hell. Two more. You can do it, boy. This one's for you, Jerry. Got him. Well, it's 18 2. Round number 21. The Trevors are finally adults. Who's inside? Oh, the strange new life form. Who actually could win? He's a pretty strong and almost difficult to kill. Look at him doing all these magic things. That's a that's an orb. That's another orb. That one hit him in the chest. It didn't do much damage, though. I'll be honest. Um what about the purple? You missed. Huggy can't seem to get close enough, though. Gravity is controlled by this fella. Oh, dear. Is that going to hit me? I don't know if I should be stunned over this side, but I'm sure it's fine. Oh, that one hit him in the face. He's drooling on himself. Let's give him some tables to throw. Here, have these. You want the... Oh, he's throwing them around. Oh, he's picking some up. And he's... Oh, he's... Oh, no. Oh, no. He was distracted by the tables, and now he's being squeezed to death. Oh, I'm going to be honest. That was probably my bad. Huggy took advantage, though. 19-2. Round number 22. Who are you? It's the... Oh, it's the country road creature, but he's he's fixed his spine. The chiropractor was Huggy Wuggy, and he's going to come around for an extra session. Oh, he's turned him into... What the... I didn't, I didn't know that could happen. Hello? Who are you? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. 22. That's the score. 22. Round number 23. It's the old detective. Look at him. Oh, there he goes. Looking cool. Will he look so cool once he's fought Huggy Wuggy? We'll, we'll find out. Shoot him! Use your gun, Matt. Some detective he is. 21 to 2. Round number 24. And, oh, yes, finally. One of the giants. It's the giant puppeteer. Will he be able to defeat the hugger? I don't, has he even seen him? Hello? There's a dude nipping at your ankles. Look at him chasing him. Smack that ankle. He's so tiny. Oh, he's seen him now. Oh, here comes the tendrils. There's some red ones. Those do more damage. Oh, they're tickling him. Is he dying? I think Huggy Wuggy is actually dying a little bit. Oh, oh, those explosive stomps. Wait. Oh, he's kicked him. Only 2,000 health left. You've got this. Puppeteer him. And there we go. All right. Nice. 21 to 3. And it's the final round. Who is our last Trevor Henderson creature? Oh, it's another big boy. It's the booty horn. Yes. Now, you know this guy is going in for the munch. He likes eating siren heads, but Huggy Wuggy's lanky, so maybe he'll like the taste of him too. Are you screaming at him? Will the scream be enough? That didn't do that much damage. Only about 5,000, but he's coming over for the smack. Another smack? Huggy's not even hit him yet. Keep on smacking him. He's already below half health. Chew on him. Teach him a lesson. Do it for the Trevors. Oh, there we go. Revenge at last. Oh, there he is. Hi, friend. I've currently got him turned off. Otherwise, I'd be dead. Oh! So he's basically the model from the actual game, which is why he's a lot spookier. And so far, you haven't really seen the scariest thing about him. And, and that's when he tries to climb and, and chase. I don't know whether to hug him or run. Let's just turn him on again. And ah, uh, yep, yeah, no, it's run. It's definitely run, lads. It's run. Is he going to jump off? Oh, okay. It uh, seems like we've survived this one. I may call for reinforcements. Uh, <laughs> you know. Ooh, Gerald, up there, lad. Look at the strides he's taking. Is he going to jump off? Jerry, behind you. I'm going to turn you around, Jerry. There. No! Please, don't send me. Jerry, if you kill me, I'll be up there with him. Jerry! What the... Dickens! <laughs> he's just... He jumped off. <gasps> he's seen Jerry. That's why. Look <laughs> at the stride on him. He kind of looks like he could be related to Jerry. Jerry, you set his groin on fire and now he's dead. So let's just see that again. How does he consume the Gerald? Up close and personal, he grabs him by the butt and then uh, squeeze him to death. And then he goes... <laughs> there he goes again. He's just so weird. But let's see if we can find something that can kill him. Maybe the cat. He could be a cat. What kind of creature do you reckon Huggy Wuggy is? Comment below. Is he a duck with teeth? Is he a squirrel? Or is he a cat? Well, let's see if Cartoon Cat can sort him out. Couple of punches here and there. Cat's teleporting. He's fleeing. Cat use flee. Cat use double smack. Cat use dead. Uh, he managed to get him to about half health, but he is definitely stronger than the cat. Berry, finish him off. Oh, no, that's the cat again. I summoned Berry. Berry, do your jump. There it is. <laughs> Predictable. Don't be squeezed. So now let's compare this new Huggy Wuggy to the old one. Uh, the size is, is quite a, a considerable size difference, as well as the health. This one has 40,000 to 2,750. He's got more fluff and he doesn't have a bow. Quick cake off. Four out of ten. What is that? Two out of ten. Both your cakes suck. Shall we make them fight and see who wins? Alrighty. But first, are they friends? No. Uh, <laughs> what? What happened? What are you doing? <laughs> is he debagging me? What's happening? So this old fella, he's a little bit stronger, but he's not the star of the show today. This fella is. That was your cue. Right, now before we take this handsome devil to the maze, there's a few more things we need to do to him. That includes breaking his butt. <laughs> 
I wasn't expecting that. Oh, he has no legs on the ground. <laughs> what would this even look like if it walked? Well, let's turn it on and see. Oh, oh, okay. What if we make him chase me while he's like that? Oh, it's somehow it's worse. It's actually scarier. Mate, you are gross. Leave me alone. Sideways smile. Oh, he's lost his eyes. Now he's only got one. Oh, he's too close. Oh, he got me. Can confirm possibly one of the most terrifying bone randomizers we've ever seen. Oh, are you okay? Can I go in your mouth? Look at his teeth. Why are his teeth like string? Now, I've heard rumors that he can destroy doors. And so we've got a door. Oh, this door's made of metal. This one, he may not be able to get inside. Uh, unfortunately, my walls are made of wood, so uh, we still may be at risk. But I'm in. The light's on. Cozy. Don't look. I haven't had time to clean up. Also, beware of the dog. <laughs> so now let's just turn him on and see if we're safe. He's out there. Oh, you can just about see his little blue head. Do, dare I break one of these boxes so we can see him better? Oh, there. Oh, I've done it. Now. Oh, he's coming, lads. All right, strap in. Are we safe? Okay, this is fine. Uh, he's out there. He seems to be trying to squeeze through something. Maybe if we give him, oh, give him something to squeeze through. Can he fit through there? Don't make me open the whole thing up. No. no, no. Hi. <laughs> hey, Huggy. So he can't fit through a single block, but can he fit through two? Yes, he can. He's coming. Wait, no. He's ejected himself. He's coming. He's, he's out. Oh, <laughs> That was actually terrifying. Don't break your own... Oh, he's gone. He's, he's taken over my house. You're a bit tall for it, lad. He's trapped himself. Can he squeeze himself out? Huggatha Wuggatha. Are you coming out to play? <laughs> Imagine you come home and just see this. Now, one final challenge before we go to the maze. The original costume man. Who really didn't stand a chance against the previous Huggy Wuggy. Maybe this fella will be a bit easier. Let's turn him on. See how he goes. He's crawled. He's crawled. He's, and he's eaten him. Did he do any damage to you? A little bit. 500 or so. Huggy reigns supreme. Now that's amazing. So the rules are quite simple. I spawn him in, wait for him to come. Uh, 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 I may give myself a head start. Depends how fast he is. And we'll see if we can make it to the end of the maze. Comment below. Do you think I'll be able to do it? I haven't been to a maze for a while. And will he fit? Oh, he fits. Lads, he fits. Okay, it's fine. It's better. Oh, he's actually, he's running. If he stands up, he seems to run a little bit faster, which is, oh God, what if I, if I go to a dead end, I'm actually dead. Does anyone know the way? Uh -huh. This traps. Where is he? I need to go back and get him. Huggy. Oh, I'm scared. Ah! Holy Jesus. <laughs> Should I put myself? <laughs> okay, not a problem. We'll, we'll have another go. All I've got to do is remember where that hole is, and I reckon I can bait him down the hole. If he if he hits a corner, he seems to slow down. Where's the hole? Where's the hole? Where's the? Why is he doing that? Oh my god, he's coming again. He's coming. I found the hole. I found the hole. There he is. Okay, just gotta get him around the corner. Uh, go down there. Oh no, he knows. He actually knows. He's waiting for me to go another way. Come on, Huggy, this way. Oh, so good, Huggy Wuggy. Come on, Dad. What do you mean? He's so. Smart. How am I gonna do this? Ow. Oh no! We got him, lads. We got him. Uh, I guess we live here now. Okay, so this time I'm just gonna try and make it out of the maze in one piece. But I may have forgot to mention there are a few other Huggy Wuggies hiding inside the maze, which are gonna make things slightly more difficult. Turn them on and oh, uh oh, oh no, they could be coming from anywhere. All right, we're just gonna go straight and hope for the best. What could possibly go wrong? There's two over that way. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. There's no Huggies. We're doing all right. Okay, this way. It's fine. That would just gone past the hot dead end. No, 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 no. Needle, no. Needle, no. Needle, dead end. Needle, no. No. <laughs> Please, someone help me. What's this? What's this? That's a trap, isn't it? Huh, Huggy, why are you just looking at me? Lad, <laughs> do something. I prefer it when they're running. Can I just go out the way I came? I in. <laughs> oh, guys, what do we do? <laughs> hey, what's in here? This is a fake door. What a scam. All right, final final turn. But this time I'm going, there's two entrances. I'm going for the left. We'll turn them back on and there's still, I think, about six in there. So we'll be okay. It's fine. Maybe that other way just leads to nowhere. This this hallway looks long, but I think it's bait. I'm going this way. Big brains. Oh, I've just lost myself. I spam my mouse too. F oh, what's this? Have I achieved the unachievable? There's a bridge. We can go all the way to the other end. I wonder if we'll see any huggies while we're crossing this bridge. There's one down there. I don't know if this means I've completed the maze or if there's an actual exit? Oh, the, I think the exit's over there. Oh, no. So we have to head that way. This is my final chance. If I lose again, I think I'm gonna have to go and change my trousers. All right, we're doing okay. I'm not even scared anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Can we bait him around here? I want to go that way. I I'm, gonna, I'm just 
just gonna go for it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm all right. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Don't be a dead end. It's not excellent. Okay. Which way do we? Oh, there's a huggy down there. There's a dead end that way. Okay. We'll go this way. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Okay. This way. This way. This way. No, there's too many dead ends. Oh, this is a dead end. <laughs> They pincered me. And so here he is. Or they? Should I say they? So there's two versions. Huggy Head and Huggy Head Friendly. Let's just begin with the original. And, well, I say or original. Ah. Is this what you expected? He has 162,000 health. And he's got that infamous siren head body with the long arms and the... What are those? And then we get up to the neck area with... <laughs> <laughs> where things get a bit weird. We got the two heads. We have the regular smiling, not gonna kill you, Huggy. And then the, uh-oh, you better run. Two mouths. Two mouths. And then look at the fluff. Look at the fluff. Also, he shaved the rest of him. Is he a swimmer? So today, we're gonna be taking a look at him, finding out what he does. But also, is he the new strongest siren head? First things first, let's turn him on. And oh, the ground is shaking. Oh. I think I died. He ate my whole body. That's fine. It's fine. There he is. He's, oh, and that time he kicked me. Okay. Multiple ways to kill you. That's good. Uh, hello again. That was a slap. What else? Oh, kicked again. <laughs> oh my goodness. A lot of variety. Look how he jumps. What the dickens? That stomped on me. Excuse me, sir. You're going to cause this banana to split. I wonder if he can eat you with the other head. <laughs> he just keeps stomping on me. Eat me, you demon. Oh, so it seems like he'll only eat you with the with the mouth that's open. Now let's find out how fast he really is. Go all the way over there, sir. And I'm just going to run. I'm running. Oh, am I faster than him? Am I winning? Am I? No, he's pretty fast. And his leap. Look at this. He just jumped up on the platform. What do you mean? Can he, can he climb? Or is he just going to jump up? Ah! Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. Nobody panic. I don't think he can climb. Can I go on his stump? Guys, I'm doing it. I'm going to jump on the stump. I missed. Oh, no. I've just realized we both have this little stem thing. You see at the top of my head and the top of his head? Father? Now, before we test his moves against some other creatures, let's break his bones. It seems like his, his, heads, his heads are a single bone, so there's nothing actually happening to his face. We're just... We're just... <laughs> We're just moving his body around. Dance for me, Huggy. And of course, we need to test whether he can kill me through my Saitama fists. A lot of creatures recently have been able to, which is slightly terrifying. So let's turn him on. And can you do it? Why? Oh, he tried to squeeze me. I'm now stuck in the air, but we both are very confused. Look at his hand. Um, I cannot move. Huggy, sir, can you do something? His skin's kind of nice. I'm gonna move him with the... Oh, no, I've just released. I've released the... No! <laughs> Huggy, why? Is he just gonna do it again does he just try and hug me because i'm so strong no he tried to hit me that time stomp kick no i don't think he can get through my shield but can he withstand the one punch oh he's done it again oh we're, we're, oh no can i hit him now oh what the devil i was not expecting that he has a rag doll oh this is incredible there's so much we can do with this the first thing that comes to mind is mickey mouse why mickey mouse cursed mickey mouse he picks up corpses and i wonder does he have have the strength to pick up this corpse. By the way, there's a special Easter egg for this creature at the end of the video. Make sure you stay to witness it. Mickey, you want it? Oh, he does want it. Mickey, you just sunk your teeth into his butt. You can have it. It's yours. He's climbing it. Maybe he needs to kill it himself. And so before we make the siren huggy fight other sirens, he's got to fight Mickey. Mickey, you better win, lad. And then carry him away. You both got the leaps. I like it. Oh, and the... Oh, okay. Uh, uh <laughs> not a problem. Not a problem i got plenty of mice uh mickey's gone nuclear he's spawning in lots of rats and he's flying huggy's taking like no damage what do you mean i think i'm gonna have to give him a hand yeah <laughs> guys this is what's happening you just made him bleed from his area oh not all over me die carry him mickey do the thing <laughs> it's too heavy there's a rat trap <laughs> in there. Well, you tried. I almost forgot that there's a friendly version. He seems fast. He seems busy. Uh, he's currently on ignore. I'm gonna turn him on. He's- That- What do you mean? This guy's not friendly. I don't understand. Friendly? Maybe he's friendly to Siren Head. Let's find out. I don't want to die again. Uh, what? I just spawned in the one in a million one and I, I panicked and deleted it. Did- Did- <laughs> Did you guys see that? So the first test, we have the regular evil Huggy Wuggy Simon versus regular Siren Head. So now we find out, are they friends or foe? We turn them on and they are not friends. Definitely not friends. He's screaming at him. He's trying to get there. 
<laughs> the voice is keeping him back. Don't listen to the voices. I don't know which one's more creepy. Two heads or two sirens? Let me know in the comments which one freaks you out more. Uh, I don't really know who's winning. Simon, are you winning? Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Uh, might be a little OP. And he's definitely stronger than Simon. But what about the friendly version? Is he friends with Simon? Is that why he's friendly? Only one way to find out. No. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's chasing that booty down. No. What do you mean he's friendly? He hates everybody. Just to confirm his friendliness, 50 Jerry's? What a magnificent sight. Sick him, lads. No, he's not friendly to the Jerry's either. He just, how many? He's, oh, no. He's eating. He's kicking. He's slapping. <laughs> the last one. <laughs> Play that again. <laughs> So now we need to speed run fighting all the other siren heads, including Lighthead, Ice from the game, Dark, Shadow, Wood, Blood, and the old Simon. Huggy, turn around, lad. All of these should be friendly to one another and hopefully fight him. I was going to do one-on-ones, but I'm pretty confident he can kill them all at once. But let's find out if I was right. He's gone straight in the middle. Uh, is he winning? Oh, he's killed two or three, four, five, <laughs> six. And seven? He keeps missing. No, he got him. Okay. I think it's time for the big boys. Did he take any damage? And our first big boy is Traffic Lighthead. 25,000 health. He's on red. So quickly, let's turn him around. Green for go. Get him. Oh, he's, he's stretching his neck out. Wait. These are fr uh, friends. Uh, he's Karate Chop. Hello. Huggy Wuggy. I'm going to set their relationship so that he hates him. Because uh, he currently, he does doesn't seem to care, but I don't think he's taken much damage. Uh, turn around, lad. What's wrong with him? Is it because it's on red? Fight him, would you? I think my hug is broken. Let's try the friendly version. You never know. Oh, this one. Friendly. He's even more violent than the other one. I don't understand. Oh, he's, he's gone for a leap. And he's... Oh, he bounced off the cone. He looks like he can fight, but... Uh, he's deaf. I think he's losing. Uh, there's a lot of orange coming out. What the... What's going on? He's trying to hit him with the 360s. And he, he just took a kick to the groin. They just keep kicking each other in the nuts. <laughs> Ah, oh, he's gone again. He's trying with the green and now the red. And uh, I don't think it's doing much damage. Huggy does not care about the rules of the road. 7,000 health left. He must be getting close to being eaten. And a few more hits. Kick it <laughs> again in the nuts. And there he goes. Burst him. And Huggy took no damage. But fear not. We have a few more contestants. Including Mother. And of course, the Booty Horn. And then we could even try the Mechanical Siren Head. As a last resort. But first, Mother, it's your turn. Are they friends? No, he's he, he's considerably smaller. But is he taking any damage from the stomps? Will she have time to spawn in her children? Who we know he will already make quite light work of. Oh, he's, he's making her smoke. He's driven her to it. And... And oh, she's dead. She didn't even have time to lay her eggs. Did he take any damage? No. All right, booty horn. It all rests on you, lad. He's considerably bigger. But is he strong enough? Oh, he smacked in midair. He's not messing around. And he loves the taste of sirens. He's taking a lot of damage, but can he execute him? I feel like we've learned today that you should never breed a siren with a huggy wuggy because <laughs> you may create a god. He's already a half hell. He's drooling. He really wants to taste him. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, I don't think he has what it takes. Huggy, you still have all your health. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> well said, Huggy. Right, that's it. Last resort. It's the Mecha Siren Head. Please. Oh, first we got to turn him on. Hit, hit the button. Hit the button. There we go. Turned him on. And now we pray. Oh, oh, he's immediately gone full nuclear. He, he recognizes the threat. Oh my gosh, he's actually doing damage. He's, oh my God, I think we've done it, lads. His regen is insane. You can see how many times he's been hit by the amount of blood on the floor. He seems to not be able to go below half health. Oh, wait, the big boom. And come on, 6,000 health. No, don't scream. He's regening. He's back up to 10,000 health. Simon, quickly drop another bomb. Here we go. He's done it. Unbelievable. And there you have it. If you if you need to sort him out, call in Robot Simon. But finally, if you ever want to control this fella and use him as a weapon, grab yourself a possessor. Head round the back. Click on the butt. And you're in. And then you'll need some test subjects, such as a Gerald. And you have a few options as how you can dispose of this Gerald. You could hit him with some melee attacks, with a left swipe, a right swipe, or you could right click 
and kick him, or you could simply press R and hug him and eat him. But there is an Easter egg for this fella, and if you stay till the end, you are rewarded. Well, let's make him aggressive, and oh no, he's just he's just jumped straight over. No, you you gotta come get these. Do something with them. Go on, I dare you. Oh, there it is. He's throwing them at me. Oh my. Yeah, he can throw things. Uh, massive things. And you know what that means? Lads, we're going jerry bowling. 50 jerrys, nicely spread out. One container and one huggy wuggy. We put him right next to the container and then we just turn him on. Comment below how many you think will get knocked over. No cheating. And we simply turn him on. He's picked it up and oh, it was one. <laughs> he got one <laughs> and he's uh, he's finishing the job. Oh, <laughs> You only, how did he only get one? Well, this time I'm giving him five containers. Will he use them or will he just run at the jerrys? He's killed another one. Is he going to pick? Oh, the jerrys are climbing the container. <laughs> pick up the containers. He's just using them as a shield. Say, so, do you want this? You can, ha you can have that. A, a free container? No. There we go. He's picked it up. <laughs> Bonked him right in the head. So if you commented one, you're a genius. He's, thro he's throwing Jerry's at Jerry's. What? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, this is incredible. Not only can he pick up big props, he can pick up Jerry's too. Uh, watch. Oh my God, he's Jerry bowling with Jerry's. And so here they are. I've spawned them in. And as you can see, the Huggy slide is based on, obviously, Huggy Wuggy plus the extra slide, the Trevor Henderson creature. And then we have the Huggy Eater, which is Huggy. Huggy's face on on a train eater. I mean, whose teeth are worse? I think you win, Huggy. Now let's compare the health. 140,000 versus only 20,000. Seven times healthier. What about the slide? 130,000? 8,000? Uh, anyone know math? This much. Wow. So first, let's take a look at some of their moves, and then we'll see whether they can kill their original forms. We shall begin with the slide. As you can see, it's moving. It does float a little bit which kind of gives away that it might be a monster also teeth and then more teeth it does look like something chuck e cheese would have at the restaurant but let's just turn it on oh it's uh okay well that was to be expected i suppose he doesn't look the friendliest where is he can we ride him though will he let me up onto the slide how do we climb up i think we have to climb up using that rat he stopped moving that's good okay what if i just i don't know why but he's let me in can i beat him am i doing any damage can we kill this lion? Uh, it would appear he does have a bit of regen. About three a second. Now, can he withstand my fists of justice? No, 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 he can't. So spawn in a fresh one. This one immediately just wants to sort me out. And will he be able to? No, because I'm very strong now. He just hit me with the ramp on the side. And then he's hitting me with his big old trunk. A bit elephanty. And now he's just hit me with the slide. He's very supple for a slide, I'll be honest. An important test to gauge the strength of this fella is to, well, make him fight himself. This one's only got 10,000 health. There's quite a few versions of Huggy. This one's, uh, he's bending a lot. What the? Huggy? More like snappy. Well, will they be friends? Will he want to ride himself? Oh my, what the? <laughs> Huggy, why are you bending like that? Okay. Uh, that was a lot of blood. <laughs> I feel a bit sick. That's fine. We got a few more Huggies. How much health has this one got? He's, oh, you he's, he didn't even let him spawn in. This one's only got 2,750 health. So, uh, <laughs> he does look a bit spookier though. I'm gonna be honest. Look at him. All right, let's turn him on, see how he goes. He's immediately crawled. He tried to go up the slide, which is an interesting technique. He tried to vent, but he was too sus. Oh, this is what it looks like inside, if anyone was wondering. Kind of creepy. How about this version? This one's got 9,500 health. You can do it, lad. Someone needs to teach this slide a lesson. <laughs> That's it. We're bringing out the big guns. This one's got 40,000 health. And surely he won't get one shot. No, he's taking a few hits. Is he doing much to the slide? Uh, he has hit him. But the slide... Oh, he's just... Tried to give him a nice old squeeze. Does that the slide, unfortunately, does not have the capability to hug. Maybe that's why he's so angry. Oh, look at that hugging. Good form, Huggy. Keep it up, lad. One more. That's it. Another one for the lads. Oh, he's dead. He did manage to do about 10,000 damage, though. But it would appear the slide is. Oh, he? Oh, I never realized he had gums before. Oh, no. Why are some of his teeth at the back not sharp? 
Is he a herbivore? So now the time has come to see whether he can kill the extra slide. He is the combination of two monsters, so he does have that double strength going for him. So <laughs> good luck. You, you kind of look real goofy right now. <laughs> it's not so spooky. Will they be friends, however? Well, let's find out. No, he hates him, but he's tanked a hit. No, that's over. Oh, wait. <gasps> I forgot he goes invisible. Huggy can't do that. He's a fool. Oh, uh, <laughs> spoke too soon. Why does this look like a snake? The back of Huggy's head is very butt-like, isn't it? I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Now, before we take a look at the Huggy Eater, let's just break some bones. See whether we can make this slide more child-friendly. I wonder if we if we can get the teeth stuck in the ground. That's, that's, a, that's great success. No, but this happened. So now the time has come to turn on the Huggy Eater. But first, let's enter him. Regular Huggy Mouth with those molars. Very sus. And then we're going in. We're behind the mouth. That's what his eyes look like. Very round. And into the belly of the beast. It's kind of a nice blue. I like it. And he's got oh, he's got an outer shell too. That's where all the eyes live. Should we turn him on? Here he comes. Oh, he's screaming. Oh, that is that is spit. He just spat on me. He ate me. I'm now in his belly. Remember, potassium's good for you. Oh, God, he's really fast. I wonder. Oh, what was that? It went blue to red to the... Oh, you can dodge his spit. That's kind of good. I think that one did hit me, though. Oh, it just ran me over. I'm wondering whether he can get long like the train eater. Does he have what it takes? Well, there's only one way to find out. And ooh. and the best way to find that out is to feed him things. And I know just the fella. He thought he was getting a day off. He was wrong. Gerald and friends, who are also Gerald, uh, you ready to be eaten? Is this enough? Now it is. All right, let's turn him on. He looks kind of weird from this angle. Meet my dog. Oh, he's eaten a few. He spat on a few. They ran away in fear. I think the scream uh, makes him fear, but it would appear he has not gotten longer. Would that amount of Jerry's been enough to make the other train eater longer? Let's find out. Consume. Long train. Okay, he's screaming. Now he's eating, but he doesn't seem to do as much damage and these this amount of jerry's may be a problem uh but he will gain health as he eats them he's eaten two uh but he, he is he's kind of losing i think uh sir would you like to eat them more <laughs> it was just a test pilot that one he was softening them up come on eat the jerry's you know you want to He's just going after that one. Is he okay, Jerry? You're right in there, lad. Oh, he just ate a ton of them. Oh, there we go. And he did get longer. Can confirm that the Huggy Train Eater doesn't get longer, it would appear. But this one does spit too. Oh my God. Wow. Jerry don't seem to care. So now it's time to find out whether this Huggy Train Eater is stronger than the original. Will they fight each other? Are they friends? Probably not. He spat on him immediately, hit him with the sonic wave, and uh, <laughs> he just wrapped his mouth around him. Let's just see that one more time. Huggy, would you mind doing that again, lad? Come on, give him a big old chomp and chomp on him. Nice. And now the time has come that we randomize the bones. Can we make him more fearsome? Are we doing anything? Oh, oh, he's lifted his butt. That's a bit scary. So we've seen that both of these creatures are stronger than their original form. But who's the strongest of the two? Will they even fight? Or are they friends? They are friends. Holy moly. Who'd have thunk it? What about the siren too? Is he? <gasps> They're all friends. Where are you going? Like, why does he look like he's limping? <laughs> The slide's looking at him like, bro, you okay? Well, fear not, I come prepared. I can make them hate one another. Like so. Yeah, that's it. Get close. Get real close. Oh, he's just got yeeted away. It seems like the Huggy Eater has like a radius damage. And just to confirm, Gerald, what, what just, what, uh, yep. If you push any sort of creature, even, even Barry, into, <laughs> yep, no, he did. Okay. Just being in his presence is dangerous. Gerald, do you want to go on the slide? No, nah, Jerry, Jerry don't care. Jerry fears not the slide. But, Jer but Jerry will be eaten. Right, ding, ding. Get on with it, lads. Oh, he screamed at him. He turned him away. He spat on him. And is he... Oh, he yeeted him with the with the tubular slide. He just dodged the spit. This one's kind of smart. I think the slide... Oh, it's going to be... It's actually going to be close. Oh, the chomp. He's hitting him with a chomp. Spat on his butt. Chomping again, but he dodged it. Um, I think I may, I may die to another spit if that comes my way. Ah, the slide has only got 23,000 health left. And there we go. Absolutely demolished him. He only took 3,700 damage. And I mean, that slide was no pushover. Now it's time for one of my favorite tests for new monsters. Whether they can get me from inside my fortified home. Oh, yeah. And we can watch them from this viewing platform. There's no toilet, but I'm sure I'll just poop my pants when they come. And they, sh they shouldn't fight. And they should both come for me. Comment below which one you think will get to me first. If either. Also, one like is one prey. 
Uh, the world killed me. Did anyone guess world? What happened? Did, I, did something in my house kill me? Lads, can you leave it alone? By the way, I love your slide. It's very yellow. All right, I'm going back in. Don't tell them. This time we need a winner. Okay, I'm going to stand at the back. Oh, he spat on me. And yeah, I think that was the train. I'm going to be honest. I, are we going to give it to the train? Up next, we got Trolly Woly, which is, I think, Huggy Wuggy. Oh my God. And he has 80 million health. He is slightly violent though. Uh, let's just confirm that. What's he going to do to me? Oh, he became a more 3D version when he slapped me. Can we have a freeze frame of what he looks like? And he also killed me through my fists. Although he seems to break once he's killed you. So we can just, we can get in there and, oh, again, Trolly Wally. Oh, there we go. He just kind of goes into this weird sort of shape. One more time for science. There it is. He just, what happened? I don't know. Oh boy, where do we start? There's so many fun things to do. I mean, look at this. First, let's just start by giving him a nice old squish down. And he goes, is he too big for this box? Oh, no. It, oh, uh, he tripped. He tri oh, that's not where you want to trip, Huggy. Oh, he's bleeding. Will he keep his limbs? No, that's gross. Up next, we've got this uh, push him down the stairs kind of vibe with some spikes at the bottom. Now, for each method of torture, I want you to try and guess how many limbs he loses. Because sometimes they can just lose like a leg or a head. Or in this case, who knows? Let's just slice him. Slice him. Oh, um, this thing just deleted. Him. You are too strong. You wait there. Mind if I just borrow one from here? Would that be okay? And then simply, uh, there we go. Oh, he's lost. He's lost a leg. Oh, it's just a foot. So far, it's just a foot. Oh gosh, I'm going down with you, lad. Is he okay? Did he lose both of his feet? I think it was just one foot. Wow, I really, I, I thought things would go worse for him, to be honest. Somehow he survived. Hey, you can't win them all. Next, let's stick him in this processing machine. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I missed. <laughs> now we just got to ram him in there, I guess. But please, please don't break on the way in, Huggy. No, your hands. But Huggy, you lost your hands. Oh, that's gross. All right, Huggy, can you turn that off? All right, it's fine. Just got to make you a bit smaller to fit you through the gap. Perfect. All right, now he fits. There goes his bits. And they're gone. Well, if he had fit, we would have chopped him up, sawn him into bits, given him a nice old tenderizing, and then spiked him. <laughs> and then he goes <laughs> into the flames. But it didn't make it. So I guess I'll try with my own self. I fit. Nice. Am I going? In. Am I okay? I'm going and chop him. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I, I think he's fine again. Mm. He's doing all right. He's lost an arm and the butt. The butt's fine. They're just losing a couple of legs. Not a problem. Foot's gone. Look how spiky my leg is. Okay. Mangle. How did I survive that? And uh, still alive. <laughs> I'm so tough. Will I survive the flames? Uh, only one way to find out. Wait. Oh, I think I'm fine. Hello. Ah! Got too close to the fire. Up next, we got an alien space laser. What could possibly go wrong? Will it get his... <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Look at his eyeballs. Uh, I was not expecting that. It removed his feet and then the rest of him. Up next, we got the chopping block. Uh, we got to try and squeeze him on again. Uh, no, Huggy, this way. Oh, just the leg. Should we pull him through just by his leg? Oh, it's fine. We just pulled his arms off. All right, he's through. Pull the lever. Oh, we got his foot and the rest of him. Nice. Next, we got this kind of grindy thing. Will he have the moves to try and survive? Can he dance his way out of this? No. <laughs> oh, my God. That's gross. This edge here is really slippery. I think I'm fine. Up next, we got a giant hammer, which we're going to try and uh, hit into his butt. We can pull it right up and release. Here it comes. <laughs> what do you mean? Hang on, just moving back a little bit. Hey! <laughs> Oh, that was kind of satisfying. What did you lose? Just an arm? Hey, you did quite well. This one, however, looks a little more difficult to survive. Oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Burst his head. Nobody saw anything. All right, are you ready? <laughs> he doesn't know what's coming. And we run. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Up next, we got this uh, air chamber where they can learn to fly. Huggy, grow some wings. There you go. Good boys. Uh, I think that... Oh, there's one. Only one can survive. Will he survive, though? He's doing all right. We'll give him another five seconds. Three, two, one. We'll turn it off. He's fine. Survival of the fittest, lads. And we have another version of survival of the fittest. We got four of them in this spike chamber. We just hit the button and see if they can... <laughs> it was just limbs and bits, and now there's just bits. So for this next one, I, I had to shrink the Huggies. Uh, they are not child Huggies. They are just shrunken. I do have my limits. I will only torture adult monsters. Uh, we'll start with the fist. <laughs> Is he okay? Oh, he survived. He just lost his head. Does that count as surviving? I don't know. What? How, 
How is he doing this? Wait, one more time? <laughs> oh, there we go. There it is. Oh, it touched me. Up next, we got a spiky thing. Um, It's already kind of gone through his forehead, uh, which explains the blood. Uh, what just happened? Huggy? Huggy, get turned up. Oh, here we go. And uh, once again, just loses his head. Hey, I forgot about this one. The wind turbine. Uh, I think we need to put him a little bit closer to the fan. Get back there. There you go. Right on the yellow lines. And then we turn on the fan and... Oh my, there goes his brain. How did that, how come I didn't get thrown up in the air? All right, let's turn this thing off. Oh, I, oh I'm fine. This thing makes no sense. Turn off. Up next, we got the pit of doom. Oh, I fell. Oh no. And that's what it does. And we're just gonna do a running jump and try and hit the huggies in. And like this, he's falling. Wrong way. All right, fine, we'll just throw him in. Get in there. Oh, I fell in with you. And he only lost, oh no, he lost all of it. For a second, it was just his head. And then the rest of the spikes got him. What about this next one? I'll, I'll drop him in alive and, and maybe that'll help him. Oh, he drops fast. Oh, maybe too fast. You, sir, from really high up this time. There he goes. Yeah, he's, he's gone. The spike pit doesn't mess around, but neither does the blender. Now, I don't, actually know how to work this thing. I've never quite figured it out. That's how you turn the things on, the spinnies. Open the sesame. Can I lift the lid? No, that just turns on the blades. Well, I can't seem to get him to go inside, so we're going to go for the budget version. Oh, look, it's a blender. <laughs> up next, we got a basic little saw that'll just come down and chop him up. How many limbs? Yes, them quick. It was all of them. Don't go too close. To how do I turn this? Turn it off. Oh, no, I turned it back on. Off. I need to get to this one. No, please don't cut me. And next we've got one where we kind of need to strap him in. So we got to we got to knock him backwards. That's it, lad. Sorry about the leg. I think you're fine. Just go. There we go. Oh, nice. Nice bed for Huggy. And then we turn it on. Oh, and it Oh god, before the saw even came. It just squished his head. I think it's fine. Next up, we got a combination machine. It's a combination of this one and this one, which is still on. It's a very personal machine. Only one can fit. We stick him in and turn it on. Oh, why did his head burst first? That makes no sense. Huggy, you're doing it. He's uh, no, he's not fine. And so we have cleared the killing floor, but there's still the tower to go and the, the pyramids and the square and this thing. So first off, let's uh, stick him down this chute. Go down. Will you fit? Oh, not off the edge huggy down the hole that's it there you go feet your feet are stuck there we go now nah, he's gone is he okay oh we're going down with him i think it's fine there's his, his brains come out no nah. <laughs> and the door opens and this is what you see we're just gonna close this and next we have three versions of push him off a skyscraper we have just regular push him off where he's just gonna fall to the bottom we have one where he has to hit all the balconies and then backwards where he can't see what's happening we'll start with regular push him off will he even fall Yes, leg. Oh, he's lost a leg already. Will he survive the impact? He did, kind of. Well, his limbs did, his head didn't. So he lost a leg and a head. What about balcony version? Will you lose more? He's got all his limbs so far and he's, oh, he's dodged the balconies. He's gonna land on the other one. No, that's cheating. He burst the other one, but he did lose his head. And you, sir, backwards. He kind of tubby though. And send him. There we go. Oh, oh, he's gone off the side. Interesting technique into the shadows. Ah, did he also lose his head? He only lost his head. Did this one lose more than a head? No, it's a tie. <laughs> they both lost their heads. How? That's a long way up. So next we have this matchstick machine. That's what I'm going to call it. And we just push him in. And will it knock off many of their bits? No, he's just... He's just hugging it. He's huggy wuggy. Ah, uh, he's slipping. And he made it to the bottom. He didn't lose any limbs. What about this one? It's like a coin machine. You never know what you're going to get. That's what you get. But on a stick. Right, this next one. Sir, you're going from up here. I'm really sorry. I think he's fine. Yep. He lost his head, but he also got stuck. Hugging even in death. Up next, we've got the cannon. As you can see, it's lined up perfectly with the pyramid of huggy wuggies. And instead of using the regular fridge or cannonball, I've decided to use a huggy. I'm going to uh, make him pause and then we grab him by the butt and then we just try and gently shove him in. Is he gonna fit? Let's, oh, this could be a problem. Here we go. That's fine. Oh, he's in. Is he in? All right, that, that'll do nicely. We simply turn him on. It closes and shoots, shoots him. Shoot, there he goes. Close, I guess. Fine, we'll try a fridge. In goes the fridge. We turn it on and hope for the best. Oh, and it missed. It was too much. Too heavy. Too heavy or too light? I think we're going to try a cannonball and hope that this one works. What do you mean? An aim for the bottom. Oh, we got them all. Life finds a way. And then finally, we have the trebuchet. Or is it a catapult? Let me know. I don't I don't know the difference. I'm going to be honest. We're going to stick some balls in the cup. Oh, 
We gotta put all the balls in the cup. I don't care. We're going, we're going all balls. Balls to the wall. <laughs> How do we turn him up? We just release it, I guess? Release the balls. Go balls. D uh, wait. Come on. One of you's got it. Oh, there we go. We'll take it. We got t three. Three's not bad. Let's reset the catapult because I have one last bit of ammunition. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna use me. I'm going in. How many do you think I'm gonna get? Quick comment below. Here I come. Oh, there goes my legs. Uh, it was none. Yeah, <laughs> the answer was none. Unless I count as one. All right, traditional bowling. Catch this. Did, did you get him? Three. Aim a little higher. Oh, this time for sure. We got him. We got him, lads. No huggies left standing. Last video, we did see a different version of a cartoon Huggy Wuggy. This one's got 256,000 health, which is uh, kind of insane and makes this one look a little weak. But let me know in the comments, which one do you prefer? Killy Willy or the cartoon? Will they even fight? Are they family? Only one way to find out. No, they are not. Spike to the bum. And Oh, he just kicked him in the groin, in his mouth groin. The cartoon Huggy Wuggy has tried to make him non-aggressive, but it is not working. Um, it's kind Kind of a close fight. The flame is on. Killy Willy, what are you doing? Oh, he's dead. And he only managed to do 40,000 damage. This guy is just so OP. You must fight Huggatha Wuggatha. 9,500 health. Quite a lot less, to be honest. Let me know in the comments who you think will win. Will they even fight? Of course they will. Fire. Oh, I fell off. Is anyone dead? Uh, Huggy's so dead. He did like 100 damage. But no problem. We have so many more. We have the other version, which has uh, 7,300 guys. Uh, it would appear they are friends. We will fix that. You two, fight to the death, please. Daisy, there it is. All right, it's happening. He squeezed. Daisy shot some balls. Uh, he's squeezing again. Yeeted. Uh, how's your health? You doing all right? Uh, he's gaining a lot of health from squeezing. Daisy's regening. 34 health a second. Guys, come on, come on, get down. Good boy. There it is. All right, smacking, squeezing, squoze. The, the flower's been squoezed. Happening again. Smacked in the face. On the stem. I don't know. Do the flowers have faces? Oh, Huggy's dead. One of the fireballs got him. Daisy wins. Nice. You guys remember that awful claw from Poppy Playtime? The prototype? Well, now it's in Gary's mod. We got three versions. We got the full prototype. We have an epic version. And then stage two. Now, if you ever wondered what the body of that claw could look like, well, this is possibly it. No one truly knows, but this makes sense. Look at the hand. Look at the face. He's got teeth. He's got a big energy core at the center. And eight legs. It's a spider. Also, this is his butt. What do you think? Now, if we turn his health on, we can see he's only got 1,606 out of a possible 100,000. That'll make a lot more sense later. But before we get to that, let's just turn him on and see if he's full of the violence. Oh, they usually are. Ah! Oh! Nobody worrying. I tend to bounce back quickly. What in the? Was that my blood? Uh, as usual, it's very difficult to see what's happening as you're being murdered. But we have a guest. Someone we've not seen for a whole episode. Can you believe it? He's back. It's Gerald. Round of applause. Round of a pause. Anyway, let's see how Gerald fares. Dead immediately. Alrighty. Do it one more time. Gerald's not even seen him. He's dead again. Gerald, by the way, has 5,000 health. If you didn't know. So, uh, that's a lot of damage. Oh. Now if we experiment with other creatures, let's see what he can one-shot. Anxious Dog had 7,500. But as you can see, dead immediately. What is that? What have you done? Hello? Uh, turned him into a black hole. Is that? Oh, it's gone. Fair enough. Also, you only have 200 health left. Is that okay? Can I? I'm just going to... Uh, oh, there's the extra bit. Uh, it was a distraction. Hello? What? Oh, God, I thought he was coming for me. Bonesworth, how much health do you have? Not enough. Moving on. Breaking news. You've got a lot. And he's not dead. Where's his health bar? He's killed him in two shots. Don't kill his child. Um, I think you have quite a lot of health. Never mind, it's 5,000. <laughs> Now, I know Simon has a lot. He has 12,500. Oh, what in the... Slash him in the groin, make him bleed. All right, Simon, what was happening? He's keeping him at bay. Look at him, he's so feral. Oh, get him. Get him, lad. That's two shots. That's three. He's bleeding again. Simon, are you okay? Look at him with his grabby little hand. Simon's doing all right. I'm kind of proud of our boy. How is he still alive? Why? Have, oh, he's suddenly become rusty. Pause. Everyone stop. Simon, I don't like your posture so excellent. And look at the rust. He has taken a bit of a beating. Oh, it's beautiful. The more damage he takes, the rustier he gets. So he looks a bit like Simon now. They kind of look related. Anyway, back to the battle. Continue, lads. Help yourselves. Who's winning? Actually, before you can carry on, let's check. Do you have health regen? No, he doesn't. Simon, 
I think does. Simon does. 200 a second, so we better uh, switch it on. Because this is becoming unfair. How is Simon doing so well? I cannot believe it. But who will win? Place your bets in the comments before it ends. Look at him. Getting screamed at. Think, mommy, please. <laughs> and, oh, he's even rustier. He was so rusty. But then Simon picked him up and ate him. How do you eat metal? That makes no sense. Oh, bang, 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 bang. Huh? Oh, it's firm. Oh, it's really firm today. Can I? There it is. So now, because we didn't actually get to see the rusty, rusty version, I'm going to spawn a couple in so we can compare. And then if I get my inflict damage tool, we can inflict enough damage that he eventually gets rusty. He's getting rustier. You see the rust? The rust is growing compared to his shine. Give me more rust and more rust. Is that as rusty as you go? I don't want to do too much damage. I'll use a gun. Maybe under a thousand health. I think that may be the rustiest he gets. And as you can see, it's pretty rusty. Compare it to one that's only taken a little bit of damage. Not too much rust. Let me know what you think of the rust. Right, that's enough. Kill him. Oh, he's got four health. You know what that means. I'm coming in. Ha. You are firm, sir. Ha. How are you? What? Oh, he gained all the health back. Does that mean we can make him even rustier? We can! He hadn't peaked rust. Look at this rust. God, is that enough rust? Does rust sound weird to anyone else now? He's beautiful. It looks like he's been in the bottom of the sea for ages. And we've killed him and he exploded. Hey, that was kind of cool. But technically, he has like three lives. And as he gets rustier, he gets more volatile and his core can explode. Isn't it beautiful? That's not even the epic version. But before we move on to the epic version, the, the 50 Gerald test. Will he do it? Is he playing an invisible violin? Ah, get him, lad. Oh, my sons. Well, that didn't go well for them. But I have an idea. This time, we're spawning the Geralds behind him. This way, they get a sneak attack. Will they achieve their dream? If not, he turned around immediately. And he sliced them this time. The slice doesn't kill all of them as much as the pound. But uh, he's left some holes, some black holes. Now, before we move on to the epic version, we should turn him into jelly and just see how it looks. Can metal be jelly? Well, apparently it can. And it's uh, a bit spidery. Is this normal? I think this is fine. His core's got a bit of a wobble on. Is his point of stability. Stop with the jelly. And now break the bones. Bones, bones. Give me the bones, more bones. All right, I'm satisfied. But the best way to see all of his actual attacks and moves is, well, either to make him fight a monster that's as strong as him, which we've seen or to activate his animations look at this list we got attack one what does it do oh the stomp attack two the slap attack three a slightly different attack four the slash from the other side burn oh what in the we have not seen him do that what is going on uh all right i think we may need a different foe for him we've seen, we've seen his death where he sploots jump scare oh he screams in your face oh i need that range he throws things and now you can see why this is important to do because well we would have missed some attack he has a stun attack he has a few and more and then of course walking but let's find a foe for it. Monster Pickle Rick. Maybe he's strong enough. Also, I want to see him do some range attacks. So, Pickle Rick, get far back, please. Battle. Do battle. Do it. Do it. Is that technically a range attack or is it a stun? He's getting rusty. Now he's killed him. Now, some of those moves might not actually work for this dude because perhaps they belong to stage two. Here he is. This is stage two. He's lost his legs, but he's gained butt thrust. Look at them. Do they burn? Is it safe to be under here? It actually is. It's kind of toasty. So he's basically the same, but under the cone, there's thrusters. Get out of here. Ah, oh, and you, sir. Well, would you mind if I just killed you first? Would that be okay? I'll just see how you die. Oh, it's the same. Very well. Would you mind um attacking me? I would like that. Oh, the slashing. Very nice. Look at the leaf. Also, he, he leaves a trail of fire behind him. Look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. He bit me. He slashed me. He bit me again. All right, I'm going to get rid of the fist. Maybe he'll jump scare me. Really? Now, turn him over here. You know who he just reminded me of? You remember Robot Plankton? Well, I know who he's fighting next. Where is he? Sir, your opponent. Is this the one I was thinking of? Or am I thinking of? Ah, oh, or Chomper? You know what? I think these lads need all the help they can get. I mean, he's got the same thrusters as Plankton. Get him, lads. Oh, they've turned on each other. Plankton. Oh, he's dead. So, so are the chompers. They were too... Oh, oh, no. If we turn the health on for this dude, we can see that he starts with the same amount as the other one. And if we inflict damage, will he rust as well? It would appear he is getting quite rusty. Is this his peak rustage? No, he's got more to go. Look how orange he's become. Oh, and there's... That is actual peak. Take it all in. Now, I wonder if he's more violent when he's rusty. Is he cranky? Squeaky? Where did all these dead Geralds come from? What's going on? And why aren't there more of them? 50! Geralds, attack! Where are they going? 
Are they are they gonna win? Oh, he's stuck under the bridge. Oh, he's cooking them. Oh, they killed him. Oh, I'm dead. Now, I had forgotten that I'd made him incredibly weak. Pretty much one shot. So, I think it's only fair he fights with full health. Show us some of your moves, boy. Ah, there it is. A lot of slashing. A lot of violence. He is a bit rusty, though. That means they hurt. Now, on to the epic version. You may think, well, he looks the same. Oh, there's the range attack. Oh, someone come pull me out. I'm stuck again. I'm gonna do the thing. Do the thing. Hello? Oh, there he is. Wow, that stings. Now, clearly, I'm no match for this dude, but I am just the friend. It's Robot Simon. And uh, hang on, he's sleeping. Let me just wake him up. There it is. Look at him. He's got guns. He's got a lot of health. He's a lot bigger. Let's see how he fares. Oh, he's immediately shooting him. As both range attacks have gone off. Look at all that rust. That's a lot of rust. He's duplicated himself, but then vanished. What's going on? That's a lot of electricity, Simon. Don't. He got him pretty weak. Look how rusty he is. But it wasn't enough. So we summon the backup. It's, it's the cartoon cat robot. He's all, he's dead. That's fine. We have an enraged version. Get 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 him in there. Get it. Do the thing. He is he okay? I think he's fine. He's doing the thing. He's picked him up. He's screaming. He's eating him. He's dead. Can I get the picking up treatment, please? I would like that. That would be, that'd be okay. Don't pick me up and scream at me, please. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you want to see prototype versus all the creatures from Huggy Wuggy, let me know in the comments and smack that like button with your stem. Also, subscribe if you're new. And I'm probably going to die. Yep, there it is. I'm yellow.